Hello beer tubers, welcome to yet another beer review uh, of the last beer I have left from BuildingMinterbox.com uh, The one I saved for last is going to be hopefully the best This is from Distweezer and this is the Panipot Grand, Vis Grand Reserva <laughs> And the regular Panipot is awesome This is a limited edition beer uh, of 30 hectoliters every second year and this is the original first bottling of it. Um, it's a 2005 vintage, which means that was when it was brewed. And it was first released in 2007. And I got some info. Yeah, it's on 10% as the regular uh, Pan and Pot, which is an awesome Belgian Strong Dark Ale. And I got some info here from the brewery's website. Because the cool thing is that this was made uh, especially for Ulbutigen, or as a tribute to Ulbutigen. Uh, I got some info here from the website. It says our uh, Panipot Grand Reserva is has aged for 24 months on oak barrels and has been bottled for the first time on the 27th of December 2007. The main difference with the Panipot Reserva is that the is that Panipot Grand Reserva. Uh, yeah, sorry. The main difference with the Panipot Reserva, which is the regular Reserva, reserva uh, version, is that Pennypot Grand Reserva uh, matured the last 10 months in Calvado, on Calvados, Calvados oak barrels, a French uh, kind of apple wine, uh, adding extra complexity to the beer. We dedicate this beer as a tribute to Jebe and Michael, or Mikael, of Ubutin in Denmark. Those gentlemen were the first to discover our beers on an international basis uh, back in 2004 and are responsible somehow for our beers being a being all over the globe uh, since then. As a token of gratitude towards Jebe and Mikael, the first shipment of Panipot Grand Reserve was, schedu was scheduled to be released in Ulbutiken so they could be the first to launch its commercialization. So that's quite cool. But yeah, 24 months of barrel aging, so from 2005 it, it was brewed, aged from then until 2007 when it was released. Okay, it says, says here, and then 14 months was on French wood on the bottle it says, and the last 8 months was on Calvado, and it's, that's at 9, but whatever. Okay, it cracked open, I'm really looking forward to this beer. Thanks a lot to Curtin Tasha at Belgium in a box for sending this. And there it is. It's basically the same color as the regular Panipot. It's a dark ruby red kind of color. Head fizzed away quite quickly. Uh, and it's left with a like an off kind of tan, beige like lace. But yeah, it's understandable. It's on 10% and it's a pretty old beer. I mean, brewed in 2005, this is a, a seven year old vintage now. But yeah, I can't wait to dig into this and try how it is. So let's check out the aroma. Ooh, hoo -hoo, yeah, oh, that smells good. <laughs> lot of, lot of barrel character. I get a lot of the oaky kind of notes. Uh, a lot of vanilla to it, too. Like, kind of, like, toasted coconut kind of aroma. Some peppery notes. Kind of like a whiskey bourbon-y kind of aroma to it, too. This was on, what was it? 10% and for this being a 10% beer you can't smell it at all. It is It is really 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 well hidden uh, Really nice smelling Smells is it, it, it you get really a lot of barrel character now uh, There is still some of the aromas left from the original Panipot, but it's mostly the barrel character. I get some red apple kind of Dark fruits a lot of dark fruits the dry kind like raisins figs all that stuff a little bit of brown sugar, some spicy note, like a peppery kind of aroma. Maybe like coffee note, like the toasted malt. This is super complex smelling. Uh, it says here it's brewed with water, barley malt, hops, yeast, spices, and candy. Well, the spice I get is mostly just a peppery kind of aroma to it right now, but it smells really nice. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Ooh, that is so smooth. It's a little bit oxidized, though. Uh, a little bit. It's been a, a little bit oxidized, unfortunately. 
the body isn't as big as on the regular Panapod. Uh but it's it's still it's still I, I'd say medium to full. Uh, dry mouthfeel. It it leaves a sugary, sticky sensation on your lips. A lot of sweet, dried, dark fruits in the initial sip. Maybe like a red berry, cherry kind of flavor. Then you get some of the oakiness. It's funny how the barrel character is more dominant in the aroma than in the flavor. The flavor, it's you get the wood, oaky kind of flavor. Uh, a light, light tartness to it too. The caramel. Like these, it is doesn't feel as spicy, and you're still uh, I still get quite a decent amount of vanilla to it. A little bit of a burn in the throat, but other than that, you don't taste the alcohol at all. This is unfortunately a little bit oxidized, uh, which kind of sucks. A little bit of a buttery note to it too. Uh, one of my favorites from the, the, the squeeze is the regular penny pot, so um, it was really nice to try this. Uh, rating wise for the uh, penny pot Grand Reserva. It's it's really really nice. I'm actually gonna give this a 95, just as I gave the regular Panapot, mainly because as these this bottle is kind of oxidized, uh, which kind of suck. But that's what you get uh, when aging beer for this long. Hopefully, I'll get to try the uh, fresher vintage of this to get more, get a less oxidized beer. But it's still a world class beer. I mean, this is one of the better beers uh, from this Twiza, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like their flagship beer. That's that, and I guess uh, Black Albert. So, real, real good stuff. Definitely worth picking up if you can get it. Uh, get it. I'm, I don't even know if you can get it on Belgium in a Box anymore. Uh, you'll have to check for yourself. So, thanks a lot to Curtain Session for sending this beer. I really appreciate it. And yeah, that does it for this beer review, guys. Please let me know what you think of the Panapod Grand Reserva if you've had it. I gave it a 95. Uh, I'd love to hear some feedback, especially on newer vintages. So yeah, guys, that does it for this beer review. Uh, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I'm going to say cheers, and I want to see you guys in another beer review.